Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and welcome back to my Northwestern Dynasty. This is episode number three, and we are at week number two, the second game of the season. Back home for the opener at Ryan Field, taking on 1-0 Syracuse, who last week in their first game of the season, first game as an ACC conference member, beat one of our Big Ten future opponents in Penn State. They beat them 31 to 21. Ashen Broiled had two touchdowns on the ground, both in the fourth quarter. One of them to take a 24-21 lead, and then the second one to seal the deal and leave it at a final score of 31 to 21. So both of us, Syracuse and myself, Northwestern coming into this game with a 1-0 record. Somebody's going to be 2-0, somebody's going to be 1-1. It's simple math. If you missed last episode, Episode number two, we took on Cal for the first game of the season. It was a 35-10 win. And if you did miss that episode, make sure you go check out the playlist down below in the description. That's going to keep you up to date on every single episode in this series. As you've seen, Kane Coulter, QB keeper right there, off the option, take a 7-0 lead. And that will be uh, his fifth touchdown of the season combined. He was pretty amazing last week, going 13 for 19 with 181 passing yards, three touchdown passes, and then also added one touchdown on the ground last week. So with this touchdown here, again, that's five out of the six touchdowns that we've scored as a team that Kane Coulter is responsible for. So again, really trying to make a Heisman push for him, being that he's a senior, being that he's the offensive leader on this team, and so far we are off to a pretty good start. I just see Syracuse is going to knock down the field goal here and cut the lead down to four. So it's seven to three, but we will get the ball back and move down the field with a pretty big gain there by Vernick Mack all the way up to the 45. And then Coulter is going to find his man over here on the right-hand side of the field to get to the 50-yard line. But as I mentioned, Coulter had a really good game last week. It still wasn't good enough to win Big Ten Player of the Week honors. I'm probably going to butcher his name, but the quarterback from Illinois who goes by the name of Nathan Shalee Hayes had 236 passing yards and five of those completions were for touchdowns. So can't argue with that. Coulter was pretty good, but not that good. But we still got a lot of season left. Maybe he can win player of the year in the Big Ten. We'll see how that goes. So down four, Syracuse is moving down the field, gets it inside the 10-yard line, and quarterback Charlie Loeb is going to find a man in the back of the end zone right here to take a 10-7 lead. And they're led by quarterback Charlie Loeb, who has some big shoes to fill as Ryan Nassib graduated and was drafted to the New York Giants. Uh, he was a really good quarterback. I've mentioned to you guys a couple different times, uh, probably more than a couple, that I am from Syracuse. I live in Syracuse, so I somewhat follow the team. My favorite college football team is actually Nebraska. Um, but, you know, just being from here, I do follow the team, and uh, they 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 got a lot of uh, a lot of people to replace this year. I was really surprised to see that Ashen Broiled, who is the third halfback on the depth chart, was the one to score two touchdowns in their first game against Penn State. So they have two pretty good running backs in Jerome Smith and Prince Tyson Gully, who are going to be leading the way for the Orange uh, in real life and maybe in this game. I'm not sure, but let's keep continuing to watch. They had a really good game. It was a shootout last year, and again, I'm talking in real life. Northwestern beat Syracuse 42-41. to I just remember it being ex an exciting game. I looked up the stats, and Nassib had a crazy second half. Kane Coulter had a couple touchdowns on his end. And uh, these two teams do meet, obviously, in real life in, se in week two, just like we are here in this season of mine. Um, so I'm going to be looking forward to that. I can't wait to watch that game. I can't wait to follow this Northwestern team and see uh, how they do throughout the season. You know, kind of like I did with Tulsa last year. You know, I followed that team as much as I could, and it was really fun to watch. Uh, I think it'll be easier to do it here just because I have the Big Ten network and, you know, I'm on the East Coast. So these teams are going to be uh, on TV a lot more than, than Tulsa was so you see we get another touchdown there. Kane Coulter with his first passing touchdown of this game. Sixth touchdown on the season. He's just absolutely in a zone to start off the season. And um, so next episode, 
we're going to be doing some recruiting. I know in the comment section of the last episode, a lot of people were requesting that. And as I've planned all along, is I want to kind of do some recruiting every other game. So this is obviously the second gameplay of the season. And then after that, we'll do a recruiting episode. It's going to start off light, and then we'll kind of work our way up uh, as we get closer to when recruits do their visits and commits and offer scholarships and all that good stuff. So the next episode will be re some recruiting, and then after that, it's going to be week three of the season where we have the uh, probably the easier team on the schedule in Western Michigan. Uh, so that'll be a game where we can hopefully take care of business and uh, keep focused as we get all the way up the field inside the 30-yard line, and Coulter's going to keep the ball, pitch it off to Trumpy, and he's going to get to about the 15-yard line. So the running game has really been a nice factor here moving down the field. Kane Coulter, again with the QB keeper, scores his third touchdown of the game, seventh of the season. He is just a maniac right now. Four touchdown games last game, or four touchdowns last game, three this, going for those Big Ten player of the week honors maybe maybe even national player of the week honors so now Syracuse gets the ball back down 21 to 17 after having the lead for most of the game they're going to move down the field getting across the 50 yard line but stop short and it's now third and inches and they're going to fail to complete it on third down as their player drops the ball I totally missed who dropped that ball fourth and inches and we blitz them really hard for us a very bad pass and get the stop with awesome field position. Up four, running down the field. Kane Coulter keeps the ball again. I ran the ball a ton in this game. A lot of yards on the ground as we go inside to Trumpy there. Just kind of mixing it up, but still killing him with the same formations. As you see, Coulter breaks it to the outside, almost to the 30-yard line. And we're just going to keep burning clock with the lead as we find Pierre Youngblood over the middle to about the 20-yard line. And he's having a pretty good game. He's having a pretty good season. And then we're going to go in and get inside the 10-yard line right there and eventually get the touchdown. This time, Kane Coulter's going to find somebody in the end zone, Kristen Jones, for a touchdown, his fourth of the game. Two running, two passing, eight on the season. Pretty amazing. So 27, I'm sorry, 28 to 17. With under two minutes left, this game is just about wrapped up as it's third and ten. And Charlie Loeb's going to throw a deep pass and get intercepted right here. And uh, there's the touchback. So this game's pretty much over. We're going to burn up some clock and uh, go home with our second win of the season. First at home and continue to build again. Next episode will it be recruiting episode. Make sure you guys click the thumbs up on this video. The first one, I believe we got 69 likes. The second episode, we got over 75. So let's try to continue to climb and uh, approach another record. So let's beat 75 likes on this video. Just click that thumbs up. It takes one second. I truly would appreciate it. And Kane Coulter's going to score again. I totally forgot about this touchdown. So five touchdowns in the game. He's a beast. And we'll be taking a look. Hopefully we can break inside the top 25 after this win here. But we're going to take a look at that in the next episode as well. And uh, hopefully in the future as well, we'll be taking a look at the Heisman hopefuls and see if Coulter's name is in there. This one's over. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be back again uh, pretty soon with the recruiting episode. It's a popular stranger. I'm out till next time. Peace.